Hey guys, welcome back to the Park Attack Diorama Build Challenge. And this was for, uh, the coaster for the months of... Let me think. March to April. <laughs> and this was a... Almost like a recreation of Grizzly River... Not Grizzly River Run. I keep doing this. It's Grizzly Runaway Mine Train at Hong Kong Disneyland. So we're given this map. It was a fun one to do because I actually participated in this challenge. But we have five entries this month. Or this round. And we're going to go jump in to see all the... Uh, entries and see who won. So let's get into it. Okay, welcome to our first entry. And this is from, oh, the name of this entry is Cyber Nun Falls by Old Razor Games. And I have to first give off a, it's not a warning, but a correction to the user who gave us this map. They blueprinted the entire map, which was kind of surprising you can do that. And didn't save it as a park file. So next time you jump into the competition, this is just a, a easier way to, for me to collect these maps. Is that you save it on a map. So when you want to save a map and do content manager, you go here, saved game scenarios. You can then upload these to the workshop. It's you know, like the word share pops up. So if it's a scenario, you build in the scenario mode or scenario editor for this map, you do this. So that was just my quick little. PSA for the user, but I did find it on the workshop. I plopped it down on the map and then it, it works. So just a heads up. But here's our first one. This is Cyber Nun Falls. Not sure what theme you're going for. It's very cyberpunk. And a lot of pieces used from the cyberpunk um, mod pack and some other things. But yeah, there's some pretty cool things I've noticed, like some of the containers. Um, I didn't find a storyline on it, but it looks like they just did a cyberpunk theme type of thing. Looks like they're doing full set of trains. Um, nothing too crazy. Just a lot of modded pieces, I can tell. And the, the, some of the things that are, might not be working, like this tunnel here, probably is not what originally was there. They did. Um, they did make a video, so I will post that link in the description. You can go watch it there yourself. But thank you for. Participating. Let's go look at what it looks like at night because that's very important to see. Yep, very steampunky neon. I can see that you use pieces from the Cyberpunk pack, um, Future Space and Future pack. Um, I think this. It looks like the Western packs in here too. But yeah, it looks pretty good. The only thing I would probably criticize is this whole pathway system I have no idea what you're going for I'm very confused why it's so empty unless I'm missing mods oh yeah see like like this piece here is sunken so I'm assuming that actually the ground was supposed to be down right yeah like this should be down again the video probably will show you more better things than what I did because I just plopped down the blueprint I had, I had no idea what was supposed to be where there I did, yeah so sorry about that but this looks good. Thank you for um, participating. And next time, load it into a scenario file, please. It'll be easier for me to grab. But overall, I think it looks wonderful. And thank you for participating. So let's go on to our um, next entry. Okay, welcome to the second entry of the challenge. And this is from this is called Darkness Falls from 99 Ghosts. And 99 Ghosts has been pretty consistent with their builds and have been been improving over the last couple of months and I do love seeing improvement that's my favorite thing about this challenge is that a player of any skill level can start and you do watch them grow and that's what I love about this type of build challenge in a way because everybody learns there's only one way up you go up it's no there's no going backwards honestly and he has he or she has improved and so the only gripe in this map that I have is the um foliage because I want that to be different tones of green but that's just just my little gripe but everything else about this looks pretty solid it's like this darkness type of I don't know yeah I would call this like like devil not 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 not, not devil more like um hellish yeah hellish actually I have no idea if you have a description I didn't read a description so no description that I know of it's probably on the voting page of the uh, ch challenge but I didn't look but everything looks cool. I like it looking at everything. The only thing... No, I don't have any real gripes. 
this interesting system here with this elevated platform to this flat ride is something. I don't know what the point of this fire though. It's just burning. But I do know there's a trigger here at this turn of, on this uh, helix. So if we wait a second here, we will see something happen. Yeah, here it comes. There, fire goes off. And then it kind of loops around. So at that point, I think that looks pretty, um, pretty okay. I think it's good. I like some of the rock tone colors. Those will look good too. And it looks like we have some new rocks in here. Let me double check. Rock 14. No, we have modded rocks. Okay, modded rocks. I see some of the new rocks that came into our, in the update, the 1.10 update. Um, this um, castle looks pretty interesting and unique with all its uh, structures. Very cool piece usage is using this plotted, potted plant for the edge of the brick wall. Very, very smart. I love seeing cool part usage. That's what makes this game unique. Again, with Parkitect, all the pieces could be used to be something else. It's not, de it's not designated to be that piece. It can change, and I like that a lot. So, again, that I give you props to that. The only thing uh, missing, though, is like you could have changed the color of the track to kind of match your theming more. But again, it's not necessarily a big problem. It's just a small personal gripe. Uh, but the design of it overall looks pretty solid. Let's go look at what it looks like at nighttime. I'll close these windows. Yeah, let's see here. Nighttime looks pretty spectacular. It looks good. I like it. Again, if you guys go find the uh, description either on the download page or not, I don't know the story. I didn't think to look. I should have looked. But I was just kind of like more fascinated, more concentrated on trying to get these maps to work. Because some of the work maps um, kind of broke. Especially the last map that will I'll show you. It broke. I'll, I'll explain later, but it's like, oh, oof, what happened? Why did they break? Uh, again, mods do this type of thing. But here's the nighttime view. Let's go back to daytime just for a second to look at the rest of it. Um, I see that you used, you kind of displayed the switch pieces here, but the, the extended track, but you didn't do anything else with them. I would love to see an extension here or something to su suggest why it broke or something. But again, Theme looks pretty okay. It looks good. I don't know. I have nothing else to complain about. Um, I didn't see that this triggers or anything. No, no triggers. Just comes out of the tunnel. I like there's other flat rides in it. Looks good. So thank you again for sending this in. And I'm looking forward to you guys joining in the next um, challenge. So let's get on to the next entry. Okay, on to um, mine. Because <laughs> this is kind of weird how I'm doing... a. A diorama build challenge overview and one of mine's is in the uh, run-up but I'm not gonna go too long on this because you guys have already seen the video of mine how I built it and everything and so here is Thunder Mesa Studios by me Astrotron and I wanted to go with a Big Thunder Mountain reimagining because I've done a reimagining with Accelerator from Knott's Berry Farm and I thought to, it would make sense to do another one again I just wanted to do mountain building again because I, I that's my favorite thing to do in this game is build mountains and that's what I did. I built another structure of some sort and it just I love everything about this map. There are some gripes that I have with my own map and again this is a thing that happens with creators especially with me and I wanted to have some more additional stuff but I kind of ran out of time and steam as I continue to build on. There was a plan to build a little bit of a booth here like an additional mine entrance and house maybe a restaurant or a flat ride. But I didn't do it because there is, technically speaking, room here. Like this empty space, there's room here to do it. I just, I didn't do it. I just kind of lost interest. And I was more focused on finishing up my last bits of pieces like this building, this little building over here with the train coming out, and then working on the um, mine section of the blast section. That's kind of what I was focused on. But um, the things that I really love about my map are the blasting area here with the train comes in, goes in. We're going to wait for it to uh, blast out. Here, let's, let's, let's position the camera pretty cool. Like, this one works. 
I like this. This is my favorite part. Again, I did a lot of triggering effects this round with sounds, and I like the idea of adding more sounds to my maps. Because you can hear it now. The train sounds are pretty cool. So, yeah. I didn't say I, this is third place by the way. I didn't I didn't just even mention that. This is third place. So, I'm I'm happy. I got third place. I'm quite happy with the results cuz the other two maps that got uh, first and second well deserved. Honestly, they did. I am very still happy with the results of my map and what I did. Now, on the last entry, I talked about doing something with the um, extension of the track that kind of just ends. So I kind of did that with mine. I, I made an additional switch here, made a, a track go into a cave, just suggesting it go somewhere else. And this one also extends, it goes into a cave, just saying that it extends on. But the story is that the chain lift breaks and then you have to go backwards. So that I was kind of trying to play into the um, storytelling element of that piece. That's what I wanted to do. But everything about the map, I'm pretty happy with. I can't think of anything else to gripe about. So let's go look at it at nighttime, because I forgot that nighttime exists. Yeah, this is what nighttime looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. The only mods I used was Rotation Anarchy, Construction Anarchy, and the Everest Train mod. Everything else is vanilla assets. So anybody can load this map in and not worry about mods breaking on you and things like that. Because I'm always worried about when a mod breaks, the map loses its full in intention or its full look. And so that's why I'm afraid of using mods sometimes. And I will point this out in the, in the winner's map. I will tell you what happens but we'll get there um, I just remind, remind myself why uh, what other thing I wanted to do was add sounds for the uh, town I did talk about that in my video but I wanted to do like chattering towns maybe like people talking from the saloon like drunks and cowboys or something and then maybe the barbershop having hair clipping noises but I just couldn't find those pieces online because most of the audio I find is either from my twin or I go find it off of a free website somewhere that is somewhat copyright free, but that's kind of a difficult thing to do. But yeah, this is Thunder Mesa Railroad, kind of a reimagining of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I would love for this to be, I don't know, this would be so cool if I can 3D print to this. Like if there was a way to take this data and put it into a 3D printer and then print out this little model. That would be so cool, actually. I don't know if I'll look into it, but it's kind of an idea of mine. But yeah, this is Thunder Mesa uh, Railroad. So, um, yeah, let's get on to the um, next entry. This will be... Yeah, let's we'll just get into the next entry. Okay, here comes our th second... Or our fourth entry, second place winner. This is Cryptic Adventures from EFG9. And they are relatively a new builder in, this, in the challenge. And this one's pretty solid. There's a lot going on here. I already like the, the aesthetic of the trees and the rock work and everything's about like legends of creatures so it says here as a cryptic a cryptoids begin to fade into myth and legend the once popular cryptid museum begin to fall into disrepair and obscurity in an exent oh my god i know that word but i'm gonna say it wrong billionaire is promising to be big rewards whoever can peru pr prove the existence of cryptids and restore the museum to its former glory. So there's a storyline. I love that. I love storylines. I love that it's there's a purpose to this build. And there's backstory. But there's already a lot going on in here. And the techniques in here are pretty solid. There's a lot going on here. We're gonna explore this for a little bit. I'm trying to figure out this like this is the little village. We got some AC units. I like seeing that. Realism. I like this. Vintage top quality rum. That's cool. This looks pretty solid. A lot of mods are used in this one. But oh, look at footprints, guys. Oh my gosh, someone did exactly what I would do. The footprints are a really neat, nice touch. I like that. There's um, cookies for rocks and texture. I like seeing that too. This, this planter shenanigans is awesome. And so are these, these custom fences. Ooh, love seeing... Um, Umbrellas. These are custom umbrellas. I like that. Dang, there's a lot going on here. I love it. I love this. This is great. Seeing the train kind of loop around here into a tunnel. And it's going underneath this. 
and then kind of end up well ends up over here so that he complete he or she completely covered it that is very smart I like it this waterfall effects great so the creatures here are Bigfoot so Bigfoot's gonna break the cable okay that makes a lot of sense oh it does move well you got it triggered neat okay let's see what it does uh, and smirks oh it stops and any any oh it goes okay it turns again okay because it, it, it releases got it okay shouldn't it spin the other way but you can't make it spin the other way I bet huh yeah okay that works it, 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 there's nothing else you can do oh it broke oh the trigger broke oh no the triggers here oh I see what is this structure is just like a broken awning that's cool okay oh there's a car right here I just noticed Bigfoot area ooh that's cool that's really neat okay so this little car here I love the angles of all the wood structures you did that's really nice I love that and this one says Bigfoot area oh it really oh it broke out here and walked up the hill oh look more footprints ah storytelling elements again I love seeing storytelling elements that is very important it's telling a story through visuals is like the thing to do so what's this oh I know what this is this is the Wendigo I think this has to be the Wendigo Wow, that is that is some great character des design right there. We got a buffalo, cow skull. We got some antlers. Shape building is what is wonderful. Using bushes as like fur. Brilliant, brilliant. This map deserves second place. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like it deserves it. Oh, a little bar, a little pub. How cute! Look at these guys. With all the things. It's just kind of an end end cap, isn't it? Yeah, just a little uh building here was it called sugar rally sure I am not got it oh they're all the these are all drinks and it's called the Nessie pub oh, of course Nessie the Loch Ness monster which is over here by the way and Nessie looks solid this is great shape building yes I really love this I love this a lot I wish that there was a sound of of her growling that would be cool see again with the sound design that I've been doing you can do this here too so let's see what else is around here um, oh let's this cover here for the train bridge nice touch there's always something new when I look around there's always something new to look at and oh so wait the car ride stations here oh genius actually very genius custom staircases I see so we have over here is the Loch Ness, well not Loch Ness, this is the a giant squid. Looks pretty solid, all out of shapes, I like it. Created by other, their name. I love I love seeing this on people's uh, maps, it just makes it just more unique. Oh, there's a little restaurant here? Oh, that would be a cool way to see a coaster go by if you sit here and watch the coaster go by. I, I, I like that, that's cool. So, so far the monsters we have are Bigfoot, the Wendigo, Nessie, giant squid, what else we got? What's in here? Oh, <gasps> the werewolf. Oh, <gasps> that is genius. Using the raptor skull for its head. Oh, that's genius. See, I get all giddy with the part usage stuff. It's like it's using a piece that's not intended. And that piece is a dinosaur head, but they're using it as a wolf piece. That's cool. So what happens? What's the trigger? Is there a trigger here? We also have to look at it at night. Oh yeah, there is a full moon. Ah, full moon. I get it. Yes. Yes, and then you race out of there because he's going to eat you. Okay, I like it. Um, the ham the Hamlet Grill. Oh, there's a grill here. Okay, that makes sense. Um, nighttime looks pretty solid too. Oh yeah, the inside of the station. Oh yeah, the museum, of course. Oh yeah, giant squid. Bigfoot. Um, Nessie. What else we got? Anchor, it's got some other things around here. Oh, the interior is pretty on point. Oh, look, a train, a train model. That's cool. I like this a lot. Oh, more, oh, a Jeep. Pictures, so this is the museum's building, is this. And this is the little village attached to it. So this is the crypt, cryptid, cryptoid museum. 
If I'm pronouncing that right, I don't think I am. English is hard, you guys. Words are hard. But I try. Oh, yes, the lightning and thunder here for the Wendigo. I'm just giving you a round of applause. EFG9, this is wonderful storytelling. And I have nothing bad to talk about. There's nothing bad. Oh yeah, you did do ripped up track here. It makes sense because Bigfoot would r r destroy it. But did you do anything with that other piece of track? Oh, you did. You have a little cutaway here at the bottom. With a guy who's dead and a switch. Okay, that works for me. I like that. Okay, there's the switch and it kind of just ends up in ends up into nowhere. But again, it's like a show building type of thing. Wow. So again, this is a wonderful map. Thank you for sending it in and well-deserved second place. This was well-deserved. So let's get on to the last map and our winner of this uh, uh, build session. Okay, let's get on to our winner of this session. And this is Star Wars Lone Survivor from Redfield. And there's going to be a quick disclaimer. So a couple mods broke. That loses the, like, the wholeness of this map. It's because of a mod called Material Painter. For some reason, when I loaded it in, it glitched out. And these spots here were glowing neon white. Like this piece down here. This track is supposed to be invisible. With a side track supposed to be going back and forth. I don't know why that didn't load either. I tried getting it back to working and didn't work. So just let you know that this map is not... There are more to this map because these... I'm assuming these are supposed to be water orbs. And these kind of glitched out on me. I think, yeah, they don't look right. I, the video shows more justice on this. So if you go find Redfield's um, video, I will put a link in the description of the of his actual tour of the map. I just want to just have a disclaimer, but the mod broke on me. And I, I'm, I apologize that it did, but... That's my warning about mods. Mods, especially mods like Material Painter, they're code-based. And if the code's wonky, it breaks. For some reason, porting it over from a map doesn't translate well for some reason. I don't know the full details, but I apologize. Let's get on to some good things. I love this map. It's great. I love the idea of this Star Destroyer. This is the, the coolest thing I've ever seen ever done in Parkitect. And Redfield, again, has outdone himself. And this is wonderful. I love everything about this. Oh, I just noticed something down here. Oh, a little minecart with stuff. Well, maybe some, like, databanks. That's cool. Okay, so, yeah, this thing's pretty wild. It's, so, this is like a Star Wars theme map. He's done one before, I think, a while ago. Yes, a while ago. I do love seeing the Stormtrooper helmets here. Oh, dead guy's skull. Um, what else is around here? It's like some type of planet. I'm not sure if there's a story. Oh yeah, there's a storyline on the back. So I will get there. So this ship is actually from the video game, um, Jedi, um, Fallen Order. Yes, Fallen Order. But there's a new game called, it came out, it's called Lone Survivor, which is basically this map's name. So this is the main character ship, Cal. This is his name, he's a Jedi. So this is, oh, Verkamp Spaceport. Aww. Look who's there. Easter egg. I love it. That looks great. Ah. Okay. So this is this is a pretty nice looking ship. I love seeing detailed ships like this all made of pieces. Phenomenal work. Great detailing. I can see here all day looking at all the little greeblies and the rivets and the boxes and the everything about it. It looks wonderful. Um, the coaster itself spots on with the interaction with the most of the park's foliage. I'm assuming, again, I hate that these are broken. I think they're supposed to be, like, glowing. Well, they're like water bubbles or something. I wish these were working. I also caught that some of the... Uh, yeah, see, there's some glowing down here. Something broke down here, too. I tried to fix it with the material painter, but it wasn't wasn't working for me. And I apologize again for it. Uh, these are crater pieces that are using as bullet points. I like that. Piece usage. Down at. I like that, too. See what? Oh yeah, some of the cool stuff is back here actually. So th the train actually ends up in a cantina like Jabba's palace. There's Jabba. Look at that. There he is. That is funny. 
and then the train ends up in the bottom where the rancor lives or some type of creature not necessarily the rancor i like the storytelling i love it and i saw this over here this changes by the way so you'll see it change i think i love that everybody's wearing helmets that's so cool these are Stormtrooper helmets. These are nice. Oh, it does change. Oh, so there. In the early days of the Empire, a battle of a planet in the Outer Rim left a Star Wars destroyer buried deep in the forest. There were thought to be no survivors, but decades later, an emergency transmission beacon activated. Now the senior agents of the Empire are in the race with the rebels to retrieve the dark seekers of the ship. Cal Kestis and the crew of the Mantis have arrived at Verkamp St- oh, I can't read it fast enough! Ah! Oh my gosh, that's cool. I love it. There's a storyline and everything. Feels like a, like a Star Wars episode. I just also noticed that the... Is there an elevator here? There's an elevator here. There's a ride. Is there a dark ride here? I think he's using the... Um, what's it called? Um, the Chocolate Dark Ride. Oh yeah, okay, let's read more. Uh, spaceport at Zen, Zen for, Zenar... Zenar 4. Okay, to make a deal with the Huts to smuggle the lone survivor off the world and... The tide of it's really the tide of the rebellion. Look, there it is. Genius. I loved seeing this too. That is pretty cool. Oh, but that goes into the station, right? Oh, that goes in the station, and this ride is just It's just by itself. It's not even meant to it's just a it's a propped ride. That's pretty neat. I love it. I love seeing this thing like this is really nice. This queue is really phenomenal. Again, I'm a sucker for Star Wars stuff, and always will be. Directed by Redfield. I like that. That is so cool. Okay, let's see what it looks like at night. Even though I botched up on the... Um, nighttime looks great, too. Deserved first place, 100%. 1,000%. Yeah, now these are f glowing now. It's on things underneath them. Hmm... But yeah, I would I would suggest you guys check out pictures of this uh, park because it really shows more justice of it. But again, that's the warning about mods. I'm not saying mods are bad. It's just a a risk you're accepting that a mod could break, and you have to either go back in and fix it, or it's just not possible to fix. And it happens. I had a um my water park that I made the um. Harbor Point. Um, the water slide mod got updated and it broke all the water slides in the park. So I had to fix them before re-putting up that map on the workshop again. But that's what happens with mods. So it's just a caution, word of warning. Don't be afraid to use mods. But it can have a chance it breaks on you. And material, the material painter is a new mod. So you can see, like, I made this invisible, but not invisible. I don't, yeah, see, I don't know what I'm doing supposed to be water? Maybe it's supposed to be water. Well, now that looks like water. That one, too. Well, not that one. And then this down here is supposed to be invisible, I'm assuming? Yeah, I can't even hit it. And for some reason, it's not doing it. And then... Oh, yeah, see? It's all... Ugh. It's all bright color. But, yeah, that's the... What's the one I ran into was this bright color issue? Oh, okay. I fixed that part. I want that plant back. Yeah, it's finicky. It's it's a finicky mod. But it's, a, it's a, somewhat of a neat mod. Yeah, these are supposed to be a different colored blue, I think. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I haven't really messed with this material painter mod before. But again, I want to uh, congratulate Redfield for winning. This was a wonderful map. So thank you again for turning this in. Sorry again for the uh, broken mod. But everything, it doesn't still, it doesn't drag away from the rest of the map. The rest of the map is still phenomenal with the pieces and the Star Destroyer especially and everything about it. I think you should have added sounds. Again, I'm on the sound kick and I think it would be funny. Add sounds, make laser sounds or, or creaking metal or the rustling of the forest, things like that. I think sound design is also important for a theme park. I think those would be worked as well. But yeah. Thank you again for the entries of all our entry winners, or not entry winners, but our entries. Thank you for participating. Um, the new challenge is already up. I announced that a couple days ago. More than a couple days ago, I think a week ago. So as the River Rapids, go do that. And um, can't wait for the um, 
next builds. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.